welcome to the AYTM.com open-ended question tutorial video. The open-ended question type is one of the ways the AYTM platform allows collection of qualitative responses. It's perfect for top-of-mind, unaided feedback for questions like, please list all brands that come to mind when you think of soft drinks, or please share what you think about the commercial you just saw. Such answers are invaluable when the objective is to learn something beyond your expectations without biasing respondents with a predetermined set of answers. Special settings for this question include making it optional, as well as providing minimum and maximum character settings. Let's explore these options in greater detail. By default, respondents must enter something into the text field in order to advance to the next question. By making the question optional, you can allow empty responses and let respondents skip ahead to the next question. The min or minimum setting controls the minimum number of characters that the respondent is required to enter in order to advance to the next question. By default, this setting is in the off position. Use this setting for questions when it's important to receive a minimum of 1 to 10 characters. The max or maximum setting allows you to set the maximum number of characters to anywhere from 1 to 10. This is useful when you ask for a zip code, phone number with a known pattern, or a similar data point that you expect to receive in a certain format. Open-ended questions can also have images associated with them. These images can be expanded to the full width of the survey widget or appear as a thumbnail and pop up as a reference on mouse rollover. Expanded illustrations are perfect when you want respondents to take a look at an image and share their feedback in the field below it. Attached or pop-up thumbnail images are useful when you add them as reminders of an image that respondents saw earlier in the survey as an enhancement or reference. Open-ended questions can have skip logic destinations. Use the rabbit icon next to the question to program this logic. Open-ended question fields can contain up to 120 characters, but respondents are able to leave much longer answers, generally up to several sentences. Once you've collected open-ended responses, there are two main ways to check answers. One is to sort through comments on your survey's comment page, and the other is to use AYTM's professional word cloud toolset. To sort through the comments you've collected, click through the special Comments page from your stats page. You'll see each individual response, accompanied by demographic data for each respondent for greater insight. You have the option to give kudos to a respondent for a great answer, or reject a respondent from your survey based on their response, and you may reject up to 5% of responses within 7 days after your survey completes. Please note that when you reject any open-ended answer, you are rejecting the entire set of survey answers provided by this respondent, including answers they gave on other questions throughout your survey. If your survey is already fulfilled when you reject someone, AYTM will automatically put the survey back in the field to find a replacement response and replenish the rejected complete with a fresh one. By giving kudos to the most thoughtful responses, you help motivate respondents to continue leaving thoughtful answers on future surveys. Now let's take a closer look at the fabulous world of word clouds. Open-ended questions produce answers that are typically harder to quantify unless you painstakingly slog through every response and group them into predetermined categories or pay extra for sentiment recognition software to do the job for you. We make it quick, easy, and beautiful to check the popularity of the various words in your respondents' answers. On the stats page, you will find open-ended responses presented in the form of a professional word cloud toolset. In fact, it's possibly one of the most advanced word cloud tools available today. Make your report shine, enhance your infographics, and save time organizing your open-ended answers as well as harmonizing the various spellings of your respondents' most common answers. You can control fonts, the number of words, contrasts in size, and angles of how the words are oriented. You can merge similar words, allow two word phrases, click on words to see what other words most commonly cropped up with them in people's answers, apply masks to create custom shapes for your word cloud, and even export to PNG, PDF, or vector EBS files. Not only can you have a great deal of control over making your word clouds prettier, but we provide the heavy data lifting that other popular word cloud providers don't offer in terms of semantic programming to give you deeper insight into your customers' thoughts. That's it for now. Thanks again for watching, and feel free to ping us with questions or to set up a personal demo.